Let's take a look at uh, finding the variance and the standard deviation uh, for a probability distribution using our programming language. First recall, um, our expectation, our mean, is equal to the sum of x times p of x. Our variance is going to be the sum of x minus um, our expectation, our mean, squared times p of x. And um, then we got the examples here from the book. And then note standard deviation is the squared root, is the square root of the variance. There we go. So let's uh, start off um, with this example. And then we'll build it as we go along. And you can see how to do it in R. And that's the same principle holds true for every um, probability distribution. So uh, let's see here. My x is going to be 0, 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, 2, and 3. P of x is going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, and 0 0.10. Okay. And then um, I want to uh, multiply those together. We saw that back in our previous video. Uh, so I'm going to say um, product. And you could do that or you could do x times p of x. I'll just do that. That's more uh, maybe the notation you're used to. As you go along, um, print out the result and see if it's working. That's the nice part about having an example by hand. Okay, so if I highlight those, I don't know if I need to highlight all those. Let me see. Okay, 0 0.25.3.3. So that's given us these values right here. Now this uh, E looking uh, symbol, that's uppercase sigma, that says to add these together. So my, um, and that's actually going to give us our expectation or our mean. So I'll call EX for expectation is equal to the sum of X times PX. Okay, so let's print the mean and see, see what it looks like. Hmm, I guess you do have to highlight them. Okay, so that gives us 0.85. Okay, so that's the first part right there. Well, now we're down to the this formula. You have to find the mean first. And let me get rid of some of these. I don't need to print it. If you're sure it's working, then go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so that's the first part. You can do uh, extra lines there. It doesn't hurt anything. R doesn't care. Um, we need to build this first column. And I'm going to do it column by column, even though you could do it all in one, maybe one line, after you load uh, X and PX. I may try that just for fun. Um, but uh, let's see. Okay, so I need X minus uh, EX. So... I want to give these probably names, x minus ex, just to really document what it's doing. So that's going to take x minus um, ex. And let's print that, x minus ex. You can actually call that whatever you want. Um, instead of x minus ex, you call it something else. I'll run that. Negative 0.85. 0.15, 1.15, and 2.15. Perfect. So did that. Then we want to square that value. So um, x minus ex squared. That gets kind of kind of wordy there. Um, let's see if I can remember the square, the way to do an exponent in R. You can always just take it times itself, but I think it's caret two. That's probably not right, but we'll see. And now I'll print x minus um, ex squared. Different programming languages have different uh, features to that. 0 0.7225, 0 0.0225. Okay, everything looks good. Got that now. So now I want to take that result and multiply it times my probability, which was px. 
boy, these are getting kind of long. These variable names now. Um, x minus e x squared times uh, p x. Um, geez, I don't know. That's that's pretty pretty long. X minus e x squared um, times p x. So x minus e x squared times p x, and it kind of you know kind of reads it. A lot of people like to use underscores, make things a little bit more readable on those. Um, well, let's print that and see what that gives us. X minus e x squared times p x. Highlight that and then run that. Point three six one two five point oh oh five six two five point one nine. Okay, everything looks good. Then we need to add those together. So, and when we add them together, that's going to give us our variance. So I call var is probably reserved word variance is equal to sum of x minus now that and I'll print variance. Highlight those. Run that. 1.0275. And that's our answer. Now, um, we want standard deviation, too. Let me get rid of some of these prints now that I know it's working. Besides the really long um, variable names, I like to refer to them as variable names, thinking of programming. Um, okay, there we go. Then standard deviation, call it that, is equal to the square root of the variance. Of course, I don't got a value to check on that, but we can do a reasonable check. Um, 1.0275. There's our variance. And didn't I print it? Oh, I didn't print it. I calculated it, but didn't print it. There we go. Uh, that probably seems correct. Uh, if you take square root of that, I believe it probably would give you that. Um, but that's how you, you find uh, the variance in, in standard deviation. Now let me try to simplify that a little bit. Well, I guess I'll leave both those there. And we're going to load in our values again. C, 0, 1. And I don't know if I'll be successful in this. I'm not operating off of script. That will take the fun away from creating these. Although we might have different definitions of fun. Definitely can do it a piece at a time, like I just look, looked at. Okay, let's see if I can do this entire formula right here um, in one line, hopefully. Okay, so um, well, I need to sum them up first. That's uh, kind of going backwards. So var is equal to sum within the sum. Then I want to have this up here. So I have my x inside of parentheses x minus and then I want my expectation and my expectation if I were to come up here would be the sum and then x times p of x so x times p of x okay so that is this e of x here so I need the squared the uh, challenging part may be to put it on the correct parentheses think right there um, yeah right there and then times p of x times px and then print the and I don't want var var is probably reserve word what am I doing there we go and the uh, standard deviation square root of variance and then print um, print the um, standard deviation. Okay, so run that. Unexpected symbol in print variance. Oh, I need to. Okay, 
There we go. Run that. Uh, let's see. 1.0275, 1.0275. 1.0.1.3657, need to get more sleep, I guess. <laughs> um, so you can see you can do it very concisely. You're wondering, well, how can I reuse this code? No, I'm not. I'm not a programmer. Um, well, the only thing you have to really change for yourself is you have to just put in your x values and your p of x. So if you had a different problem where you had, like there's a couple more there, and you had a couple more probabilities, let's see if that's a valid, uh, not that uh, R cares, but let's make sure it's a valid probability distribution. That's 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0 0.5, plus 0.5 is 1, so it adds up to 1. Okay, so if I were to run this, And it gives me my values. So you can see there's very few changes you'd actually have to make to use this um, this R code. Um, if you look into problems where you're trying to find the uh, mean or expectation and the variance uh, slash standard deviation of a probability distribution.